In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Lambda functions in Python. In addition, I'm going to show you how to use Lambda functions with functions like map, reduce, and filter. So let's get started. So as we all know that Python is a multi-paradigm language and it also supports functional programming. And the Lambda functions falls into functional programming paradigm. So what are Lambda functions and how to use Lambda functions? So Lambda functions in Python are also called anonymous functions because they don't have any name. Sometimes they are also called one line functions because they can be written in a single line of code. So let's see how we can define a Lambda function. So as you can see here, I have three normal function defined here. One is the double functions, which doubles whatever arguments you provide here. Second is a simple addition function. And third function is the function which takes three arguments and provide the product of the three argument which are provided. So let's see how we can convert these three functions into the lambda functions. So the first function which we have is the double function. So I'm going to once again write double as a variable and then I can use a special keyword called lambda to create a lambda function. So as you can see here, this double takes one argument which is x. So to provide an argument in the lambda function, you just write the name of the argument and then after the colon, you write the body of the function. So in our case, this double function have this body which is return x multiplied by two. So in lambda function, if you want to return some value, you don't need to use this return keyword. You can directly write x multiplied by two here. So this lambda function is equivalent to this double function, which is a normal function. So this double function takes one argument, which is x, which we are providing here, and it returns the multiplication of x by two, which we are writing after the colon. Now let's write the add function using lambda function. So I'm going to once again declare a variable called add, and once again use lambda, and this time this add takes two arguments. So I can provide multiple arguments in lambda functions by comma as you do with the normal functions. So I will provide two arguments. And then after the colon, you just write whatever you want to return. So we want to return x plus y. So we can simply write x plus y here. And that's it. So in a single line, we can define the lambda function. Now the third function we want to uh, provide here is the product function. So I will declare a variable product. And this time I just need to provide three arguments using the comma separator. And after the colon, I just provide the multiplication of these three values, which is x multiplied by y multiplied by z. So all these three normal functions is equivalent to these lambda functions. So I'm going to just comment these three functions out by pressing control and forward slash. And now let's see how to use these lambda functions. So you create a lambda function and then assign the result into some variable. And then you use these variable as you use the normal functions. So I'm going to just use print to call the double variable and then using the parenthesis, I just provide the argument which this lambda function takes. So this lambda function takes one argument, which is x. So I can provide the value of x here. So let's say I want to provide 10 as the value of x. Same, I will do with the add function and the product function. So add function takes two argument and the product function takes three argument. So I can simply write these functions like this, like a normal function. And then I can just run my uh, script and you will see it's going to give us the same result as the normal function gives us. 
So the first is the double of 10, second is the addition of these two numbers and third is the product of these three numbers. Now you might ask a question that these functions which we have defined normally, we can also define these function in a single line because there is not much logic uh, inside these functions. So we can declare these functions like this and they are also the single line functions. So why do we use lambda functions? So the lambda functions are generally used with the functions which takes function as an argument or returns function as the result. So in functional programming, functions are the first class citizens. That means we can pass the functions as the normal argument. So as you can see here, we have passed some static or constant value as an argument here. But we can also pass the functions as an argument. And in addition, you can also return a function from a function. So instead of this multiplication, you can create a function and return from a function. And that's where these lambda functions are useful. So let me give you some examples of where you can use lambda functions. So as I said, you can use lambda functions with the functions like filter, reduce and map. So let me illustrate how these functions work. So I'm going to declare a list of some numbers. So now I have created a list which have these six elements. Now let's see how to use a map function with a lambda function. So there is an inbuilt function called map in Python which takes two argument. One is a function and second is an iteratable variable and we all know that collections like lists or tuples or the dictionaries are all iteratable collections. So we can use map keyword and then here we can define a lambda function. So let's say I want to double each and every element of this list. So I can define a function which takes one argument x and then we are going to return the double of this value. So this is the function which we have passed to this map function because the first argument which map expects is the function. The second is the iteratable collection. So we are going to pass this list as the second value. Let me define, let's say my list here. So it will be more clearer. So I'm going to just pass this my list as the second variable. So what this map function is going to do is it's going to apply this lambda function to each and every element of this list, which is basically going to double the value of each and every element of the list. Now let's assign the result of this map function into a variable. So I'm going to assign the result into some variable and then I'm going to print the result first of all. So this variable contains the map function. So let's see first of all what is the result and then I'm going to show you how to get the result which we are expecting. So you can see here, whenever you want to print the value of map, it's going to just give you this kind of result. So how we can get the list out of this map value? In order to get the list out of this map value, you need to cast this value into a list. And how to convert this value into a list? You use a list function and then pass the result of the map function as an argument of this list function. Let's run the program once again and you will see now that the result is a list and in the result every element of the list is doubled. So basically what this map function has done is it has applied this function to each and every value of the list. And this function just doubles each and every value of the list. Now you might say that this is a very simple function which we are applying to the list. So let's make things little bit complex. And let's say now 
I have two lists. One is my list one and other is my list two. And this other list contains some other set of elements. So let me just change the values which this second list contains. And let's say using this map function, I want to add each and every element of these two lists and create a third list with the addition of let's say two and one and five and four, eight and seven, 10 and eight like this. So how can I create a map function to achieve this? So let's say this is a variable B and here inside the lambda function, we give the second argument, which is Y. So it takes two argument and then it adds the value of X and Y. So we can do like this. And then as the second argument, we are passing the first list. And also as the third argument, you can pass the second list here. So now what this map function is going to do is it's going to take the first element of the first list and the first element of the second list. And then it's going to apply this function to the first elements of both these lists, which is to add these two numbers. So let's see what is the result which we get using this map function. So I'm going to just convert the answer or the result into a list. And then I'm going to just pass this B variable as an argument of this list. And then we are just printing the result. So let's run the code and let's see what happens. So you can see we get the list which adds the value of these two lists and creates a new list. So you can see two plus one is three here, five plus four is nine, then eight plus seven is 15 and so on. So this is how you can use lambda functions with map function. Now let's see how to use a filter function. So I'm going to use this special function, which is called filter. And this filter functions takes two argument. But what is special about this filter function is it takes a function as the first argument, which gives us a Boolean result. So instead of adding two numbers and returning, this filter function is expecting a function which gives us the Boolean result. So let me minimize this. So let's say we want to filter the even values from this list. So how we can achieve this using the filter function. So as I said, this takes a function as the first argument. So you can use Lambda and how to find out the even values. You pass an argument and then you return X modulo two is equal to zero. So this X modulo two is going to give us zero whenever the number is even, otherwise it's going to give us one. So this is the first argument and the second argument we can pass here is for example, the first list here. And now I'm going to assign the result into a variable and let's print the value of C now using the list function. So list and as an argument, I'm going to pass C here. Let's run the code and let's see what's the result. And you can see you just get the even values filtered out from this first list, which is two, eight and 10. Now let me give you one more example of filter. So let's say you want to filter out from the second list, which values are greater than five. So all the values which are greater than five, we want to filter out. So we will pass X as an argument. And let's say this is the D variable. So this Lambda function takes X as an argument. And it's going to return true. So let me just write the syntax here. So it's going to return true if the value of X is greater than five. Else it's going to return the false. So else we can just write false here. So if you want to write if and else condition, inside a Lambda function, you write something like this. So this is the syntax of if and else. So if the value of X is greater than five, it's going to return true. Otherwise it's going to return false. So let's run this code and let's see what happens. Let me just replace the C by D and I'm going to run this uh, file and you will see the result here. So in this list, you will see eight, 
10 and 9 are greater than 5. That's why we got this result. If we write here greater than and equal to and once again run the code, it's going to give us four values including 5 here. So this is how you can use filter function with the lambda functions. Now let's see how we can use one more function which is called the reduce function. So in order to use the reduce function, we need to import a special module which is func tool. So let's import this module and this module is called func tools. So we are going to write from func tool import reduce. So what we are basically saying is we need a reduce function from this func tool module. And now you can use a reduce function. So I'm going to declare a variable e and then I can use this reduce function which also takes two argument. One is the function and other is the iteratable collection. So let's define a function first of all which is the lambda function and this lambda function is going to take let's say two values x and y and what it's going to return is the sum of x plus y here. Now as the second argument I'm going to pass my list variable here. So what a reduce function does is it takes first two element of the list and then apply the function which you have written here which is going to add first two element and then it's going to store the result in x variable and take next element into the y variable so 7 plus y is going to give us whatever result and once again it's going to apply the result and then going to add the next number to the result. So let's see what result we get using this reduce function. So I'm going to once again use print and then we can directly print the value of the reduce function which is e. So let's run this code once again and you will see this result which is 37. Now 37 is the sum of all these elements inside this my list. So let me explain you once again what this reduce function is doing. So first of all because we are passing two arguments here in the lambda function it's going to take first two element of your collection which is 2 and 5 and then apply this code or statement to these two elements which is 2 plus 5 and we will get 7 as the result. Now once again it's going to take 7 as the first argument which is the sum of these two numbers and 8 as the second argument which is y here and then apply this logic once again to 7 and 8 which gives us 15 and once again this 15 will be passed as x and 10 will be passed as y and once again the addition of 15 and 10 will happen which will make it 25 and so on. So this is how you can use lambda functions in Python and this is how you can use lambda functions with map, filter and reduce functions.